hobbies play an important part in the lives of all of us. Let's have a look at some of the more unusual hobbies and hobbyists of the nation. The living room of Orville Scudder gives ample evidence of his hobby, which is boats. Big boats, little boats. In fact, he's just crazy about boats. It's mutiny, Mr. Christian. Amateur botanist Herman Dibble has developed a marvelous plant food. Mr. Dibble, oh, Mr. Dibble, is it true that your plant food really makes things grow? Yes. It's a possibility. This is the modest home of Prentice Slemp. His pride and joy is his cactus garden, in which he spends many happy hours. Here he is now, strolling among his splendid specimens. Herbert Strongfort of Muscle Shoals makes a hobby of keeping physically fit. His diet of raw carrots is largely responsible for his iron physique. But Herbie, isn't there any drawback to living exclusively on raw carrots? Uh, no, not that I know of. <laughs> Amateur magic is the fascinating hobby of Chutney Gigglewick, who will now take... Ahem, uh, yeah, yes. I will do a most difficult trick. I will cover the goldfish bowl, <laughs> thus, and with a wave of my magic wand, <laughs> thus, I will make the bowl, the cloth, <laughs> and the fish completely disappear. Alakazam, alakazam, presto! <laughs> A fine magician you are. Violin. Slap bass. Piccolo. Trombone. Now, all together. <laughs> I was cheating. <laughs> the handling of vicious dogs has long been the unusual hobby of Samson McDivitt. His domination over these brutes is unquestioned. Get in there, looking for. Get yourself in the hoose right now. Get in there and stay there. I guess he realizes who's master around here. Aye. Here an instructor explains to his class of gliding enthusiasts the principles of motorless flight how to avoid treacherous downdrafts, and how to take advantage of warm rising thermals. There they go, off to apply their instruction in man's closest challenge to the art of the birds. This proud gentleman has the largest collection of hotel towels and silverware in the entire world. Julius Digby makes a hobby of inventing boons to mankind. Probably his greatest boon to mankind is his Digby Deluxe Dunkin' Donut guaranteed against all dripping and drainage. Some uh, boon, eh, kid? Another equally successful creation is his anti-hotfoot shoe. Oh, man, 
cuts that down the road a piece has the dangness hobby. Always experimenting with explosives. Seems pretty risky to me, Johnny. But every man to his own taste, I always say. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, go ahead. Turn now. Hmm, what's Dick Tracy doing today? Oh, say, let's do the crossway puzzle, huh? Well, can this be a hobby? I beg your pardon. My name is Bots. I got a hobby, too. I make all kinds of handy gadgets. <laughs> Well, Mr. Potts, I'm sure everyone will be glad you've given this device to the world. Yeah, everybody will be so glad.